What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special Timu haul for you guys and it is a all diamond painting haul. Um, and I say that with a little bit of a little bit of a hitch. Um, it is all diamond painting but there is actually one cross stitch kit in here and I will just show that at the end in case you don't care about that. Um, I do get a lot of questions about the diamond painting thing. I don't want to make this a crafting channel so I try not to go too much into it but if you're really interested in diamond painting there is a wealth of knowledge out there on YouTube literally just type in diamond painting and you will get all of the video you could ever possibly handle um, both people showing off what they're doing working on and people showing off their hauls and even people that will give you actual tutorials on diamond painting like tips and tricks and all that good stuff I'm not going to be one of those channels. I would like to, at some point, probably in after the new year, to um, come back and give you guys kind of, and uh, talk to you guys a little bit about diamond painting if you're interested. Um, it is super easy. It's a great thing for beginners. There are definitely like tips and tricks that you can do to make your experience more enjoyable. Um, but overall, it's your craft. You can do it how you want to. I personally, a lot of people will love what's called multi-placers. I don't really care for multi-placers. Um, and that's just a, a special kind of pen that picks up more than one diamond at a time. I personally don't care for multi-placers. That's just me. But that's the kind of thing you learn when you start getting into diamond painting is all the different things, the tools and the techniques that you can get into. Like I said, I'm not going to do that. Um, I may come back and talk to you guys a little bit, like I said, after the new year about that. Um, but today I have a haul and, uh, somebody actually asked me under my last video where I had mentioned that the, the bag that I had, um, there was a bunch of diamond paintings in it and it was a separate order and it would have to be saved for this time. And, um, they saw how many I was talking about. And I said, do you do diamond painting that much? And I literally, my exact words were, nope, not at all. <laughs> diamond painting is one of those hobbies where purchasing diamond painting and actually completing diamond painting are two different hobbies. Um, there's just so many beautiful designs that you can find out there that you just, you just want them all. So you just keep buying more. So let me get into it. Um, as I tell you guys every single time I am an affiliate for Timu. Um, I don't make a huge deal about it. I will post my discount code right here on the screen and I have an affiliate link, which I will also post down in the description box. If you use the discount code uh, up until December 1st, you can get 50% off your first order, but that's only if you are a new user. Um, and you have to have signed up within, I think it's either five to seven days prior to placing your first order so you have to be a super new user um if you use the affiliate the affiliate link down in the description box i believe you will get a 100 dollars coupon bundle uh, upon placing your first order again that's only for new users after december 1st i believe the all around discount will go down to 30 percent for your whole entire order so get in on that while you can um I'm going to try to get this video up fairly quickly <laughs> after I record it. So, um, hopefully same day or at least the following morning. So let me get into it, guys. I will post a link to the entire order down below as well as individual links to each item. I will try my best to describe them. You know, none of these have actual titles, so I just kind of have to try my best to describe them. And if anything is sold out or the listing has been discontinued i would try my best to find an alternate link if i can if not i'll just have to let you know um in the description box next to the item that um it was out, it was out of stock or discontinued and i couldn't find an alternate link so i do try my best to give you guys as much information as i can now um there is going to be crinkling and crackling in this video i do apologize i try my best to not overly handle something and if something is just proving a little bit more difficult to get into I'll try my best to edit that down a little bit um, because I know 
I know there are people out there who don't really care for the, the crinkling of plastic and stuff. Even though I've never come across... People in my comments are all the time saying, I love the crinkling, I love the plastic sound. Um, don't feel bad about it. But I know there's going to be that one person out there that is not a fan of the plastic sound. Especially if you're wearing earphones. It can get kind of loud. So, enough talking. Let me get into this. Uh, I will be posting prices here, down at the, in the corner, right here. Um, let me get my scissors. My scissors. They're in here somewhere. Yep. <laughs> in case you're wondering what all this is, this is us trying to clear off this drafting table back here. And hopefully, I'll be able to get to it again soon. To be able to actually do my bigger diamond paintings on it again. Because I would really would like to start working on my bigger ones again. Okay. You may hear my daughter from time to time. She is in bed. Um, but she is kind of playing at the moment. So, you know. I'll take what wins I can get. So this one is one of the ones that um, unfortunately does not have where you can see the picture. She's a super cute little girl and looks like that. She's super cute. Super cute. I can tell you in diamond painting you have two different kinds of adhesive. Um, one is a double-sided tape, which is what this is. Um, and you can always tell the double-sided tape from uh, another kind called poured glue. Double-sided tape will have this thick paper over top of it. Poured glue will have the clear uh, plastic cellophane over top of it. So this is what she looks like. And this one actually is a 40 by 50. And so far, she looks pretty good. There are some creases in it, um, but not too bad. So, so I don't want to try to like unroll this like all the way, but she is super cute with her little puppy. So yeah, that's going to be fun to work on. There's not a lot of colors in it. I will have to like go back and re-straighten these. leave this all this part in right now but if you see cuts from here on out it's just probably me just fixing the canvas or fiddling with it and I don't want to bore y'all with that right now I'm just kind of straightening it out so um this doesn't have a ton of colors um it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 25 colors. Um, they are, are listed in uh, what's called DMC numbers. And DMC is a kind of thread that needleworkers use. Um, they have a coloring numbering system. And a lot of diamond painting... Um, does go by that numbering system, which is why you get a lot of crossover between cross stitch and diamond painting. Um, so, it's 25 colors, has the uh, DMC coating on it. Um, it doesn't look like you're in alphabetical order. The symbols are all kind of a jumble between letters and numbers. And it looks like there's a couple of actual, like, symbols in there. Like a, like a, um, a, a water drop and a a u-turn symbol so yeah but yeah that's what she looks like she's super cute um and i don't want to take this stuff out of the plastic because i'll never get it back in there Let's see if i can open it up they do have a 
um, inventory sheet, which is always a, a good thing because it helps you um, look at your packs of diamonds and uh, make sure that you have enough that you're supposed to have. So I'm just going to take this out briefly, unwrap this, um, and these are all kind of in the strips. So that is your color palette. Kind of muted, but very pretty. So I am just going to <laughs> wrap this back up and put it back in the plastic. That was the first one. Um, and then second one, the second one is an example of a poured glue. There, there is differences in how each of these things reacts, how, how each of these kinds of adhesives act. Um, poured glue can be more flexible when it comes to them being rolled up like this. Um, the double-sided tape not so much so that's why sometimes a lot of times if you get a diamond painting that has the double-sided tape if it's been rolled up or if it's been packaged incorrectly and not in a very caring way you can get um like what's called rivers and you can get bubbles you can get creases that are kind of you have to actually work to get these things out um in an ideal world but this next one I'm going to show you is a poured glue. And y'all, I have been, I was looking at this one so hard and I really debated on getting it because it is long. Um, it is, the size of it is a 34 by 59 centimeter. So she's long, but she is very reminiscent of my favorite Disney character my, my favorite Disney princess um and I have two favorite Disney princesses my two favorite ones are Ariel from the Little Mermaid and yeah Yas and Yasmin Jasmine from Aladdin those are my two favorites because they came out in the 90s I was very an impressionable teenager at that time so but she is absolutely gorgeous she also has the DMC numbering um and it also has she has also has 25 colors but her symbols are listed in alphabetical order, which is awesome. And it's, look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? She's gorgeous, y'all. I was really worried about how the quality of this would come out. Um, but she's gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. And I really like, part of me, like, I just can't wait to get into completing her. And that's the problem with diamond painting. You get all these really pretty, really fun canvases. And you're like, that's my next favorite. That's my next one. And then you get something else. And you're like, that's my next one. So, yeah. Now, I am looking at this. And it looks like they have just... They have the, the grid on there. But it kind of looks like they have just printed a picture on the canvas. And then put the grid over it. Um... So, the the gridding, the blocking on this is might be it's not going to be as smooth of a transition as um, the picture, but I'm still interested to see how well this turns out. She is gorgeous, y'all. She is absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, I know that she's not officially like Ariel. Like she has, she's like all in green. She has the green bra top um but she has red hair and I, said, I just think she's gorgeous so and bonus points for this canvas being sparkly i love a sparkly canvas i don't know why um it doesn't indicate quality or anything like that but i just love a sparkly canvas so this actually came with two toolkits um, boat, pen, wax, and some baggies. Pretty basic. 
Um, and then here is your color palette. Love the teal greens, the tanks. I love that. So pretty. So, again, cannot wait to get into this one. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm trying my best to keep these things, like these um, poured glue ones, I can keep rolled up like this and they'll be fine. Um, the double-sided tape ones, I'm trying to keep flattened out because it'll help later on in the long run when I get ready to actually start it. But a lot of my diamond paintings are going to have to get uh, put away, like into our um, climate-controlled storage unit. Because we're trying to clear out of the back bedroom here. And unfortunately, my craft stuff is something that has to go. So, some of it I'm keeping in here and some of it I'm taking out to the storage unit. So, next up, we have another, we have a small one actually. And this one is one that normally I wouldn't go for. Like, especially in a smaller one, but I thought I'd give it a chance. Um, and this one just has, like, a truck with a barn. Really pretty. And this is a 30 by 40 centimeter. With diamond paintings, you're, you're going to find that the standard is, the sizing is in centimeters. And with a lot of companies, that sizing indicates the size of the picture or an, an, approximate size of the picture um and uh sorry with a lot of companies that sizing um is ind indicative of the whole canvas and some companies will actually say that that size is the actual picture itself so like i said most of the time it's going to be especially when you're buying from companies like timu or any any company that uh, you're buying from stuff that's coming from overseas, their sizes indicate the size of the actual full canvas. But generally, there's about maybe a five centimeter difference all the way around on each side, give or take. Um, so it's not a whole lot, like two and a half centimeters here and two and a half centimeters there, give or take. Yeah, but really pretty. Um, I've gotten into, I've just gotten into red trucks. Um, this one has 21 colors and it's all alphabet, but they are not in, um, alphabetical order. Um, but it does have the DMC codes as well. Um, so yeah, and the DMC codes are in, in order, but these symbols are not. So, so yeah, that's that one. And the color palette may be a little bit more difficult to see, um, but it's very muted. There's very little of like your your bright oranges and like the reddish oranges for the truck, but everything else is pretty like neutral for the barn and the um, the greenery. So And that one also had a pretty basic toolkit, your boat, your pen, and your wax. I don't usually save those. Um, I have a ton of those laying around. And honestly, I just don't need to save every single one that I come across. This thing's gonna be tricky to get back in that plastic. Let me flip this over. There we go. So next up, is a beautiful lady. And she is also on a sparkly canvas. And it's very, very stiff. Um, she only has 17 colors. Um, also DMC coded. Also with the, well, mostly alphabet, but one number. Um, but it's all in her skin. Um, <laughs> and she is 30 by 40. Beautiful lady with the red hat. And apparently, I believe, I, I think I 
probably have bought this twice. Um, because I forgot that I bought her <laughs> in a, in a, an order. And then later on, I said, I'm just going to go ahead and go for it and order this one. And I had already ordered it. So she'll come up again at a later time. So super pretty. I said, this one is just a, another 30 by 40. And she also has a pretty basic toolkit. Did I literally buy her twice in the same? Oh no, oh my goodness. <laughs> I saw the, the roll with the, with the diamonds in it and I thought I had bought it a second time. But here is her, um, here's her diamonds. I don't want to take these out because they are in separate packs. Trying to give you like an idea. Lots of oranges and browns, rust, peach. Um, there's a little bit of dark colors like for her hat and stuff like that. So, and obviously you can see that she does come with a inventory sheet as well. Inventory sheets are great, y'all. They are really great. And they're also helpful too, because if I decide to um, take the diamonds out of their little plastic sleeve and just put them in a, um, what do you call it, a sandwich bag, a Ziploc bag, um, then I can put the inventory sheet in the bag to show which canvas that it goes with. And I can keep the canvas and the diamond separate. I used to do that more often than I do now. Now I just roll it up and try to keep everything together. So this next one, <laughs> I've been seeing this design for a while, for a long time. Even back when I would buy all my diamond paintings from AliExpress, I would see this one. And I don't know why I never pulled the trigger on getting it. Um, but, um, saw this one and I don't think, I think that even for the size that I got it in, it's not terrible. Uh, maybe one day I will buy it in a larger size to bring out more of the detail. But overall, this one's not bad. Um, this one is a 30 by 30 centimeter. Um, has 24 colors in it. Also DMC. The symbols are a mix of alphabets and like one or two actual symbols. Um, but he is a cute cat. It's reading a book with attitude. <laughs> and like this, it looks a lot more full than they do when you're looking at them up close. If you see what I see, especially like around the glasses, you can see how pixelated it gets. So just keep that in mind with diamond painting. Like it looks more pixelated from afar than it will from uh, up close. It looks more pixelated up close than it will from, from far away. But this one is what you would call like a little snack size one. So just a 30 by 30. Something that won't take super long to do. So. And then his colors. There's some bright, some nice colors in here. This one also comes with a inventory sheet. Wow, they're just really like 10 for 10 today with the inventory sheets. This one also has the diamonds in the pack so that I don't really want to mess up in here. But I want to give you guys an idea of what his color palette looks like. So. These little rolls like this where they put the with the uh, where they put the diamonds. These things can be impossible to get back into place so that's why I'm trying my best not to mess it up and again another another simple little 
toolkit. You will get a toolkit with each and every diamond painting that you buy. There's no option to not get a toolkit. It's going to happen. And this one has the kind of softer plastic wrapper that's going to tear. Yeah. Whereas, like, once you stick something to it, it's not coming off. Um, so this one is another cute little cat, um, cat painting that I got. It's another 30 by 30. Um, more, uh, 20 colors, more DMC numbering. Um, also, it's all lettering. Uh, that's not in alphabetic order. But cute little cat. <laughs> cute little cat. This one is a little bit more like it's not as pixelated. And one thing I try to tell about people, you're finding out about, apparently you're finding out about diamond painting today, whether you not, know it or not. But one thing I try to tell people like all the time, when I see in Facebook groups, people will get a diamond painting and they'll show it off and they'll be like, well, I'm disappointed in, in the, the picture. It's like super pixelated. And that's because they picked out a picture that has a lot of detail. If you're going to buy a diamond painting that's like a 30 by 30 or a 30 by 40, you don't want a lot of fine detail in them because it's not going to show up. If you're aiming to get a, a picture that has a lot of detail, and if you really want um, to let that detail show, you need to go bigger. The bigger, the better in cases like that. Um, and the best place actually to get your larger diamond paintings is AliExpress um, because they have all their diamond paintings I, I would say at least 99% of the diamond paintings or most of the diamond paintings you can get in either square or round drill. Um, and you can actually pick the size that you want, the specific size that you want. Um, like a picture like this, like they may offer it in a 30 by 30. They'll offer it in a 40 by 40. They'll offer it in a 40 by 45 by 45, a 50 by 50, 60 by 60, so on and so forth. So you can get the exact size you want. And obviously, the bigger you go, the more expensive they are. But uh, with um, ones like the other one that I was showing you, the mermaid one, that's one that you would probably have to go a little bit bigger and get it from a different company to actually see the patterned gridding um, and what it would actually look like. That company has just... Um, overlaid the diamond painting symbols over a picture. So, not the best thing. But, anyway, cat like this. Super cute. He is nature. And, I know a lot of diamond painters will go over, you know, how sticky the canvas is and all that good stuff. I'm not going to do that because... I've never had a problem with the diamond painting not being sticky. So, here is his colors. The peaches and the browns, tans. Yeah. i just gotten a lot of muted ones today, I guess. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. I do love the bright colored ones, though. So this one, because the um, adhesive tape um, would not come off from where it was attached, um, this one is just going to have to stay open. So this next one, I already actually already cut it open. Little secret: I actually tried to do this the other night, right after my last. Timu haul, but uh, I realized I probably wasn't going to have time to do it. And plus, I didn't want to do it in the dark. <laughs> so, I just went ahead, and you know what? I'll just, I'll wait till later. So, this one is another really pretty one. This one has, is another one that has the um, double-sided tape. And it's a 30 by 40. And this one actually is the size of, like, the actual picture itself is a 30 by 40. You can usually tell. The more you do diamond paintings, the more you can tell what sizing is supposed to be. So, this one is a little bit bigger. Beautiful fall, like, walk in the 
card type scene. So absolutely beautiful. that <laughs> um this one i can't remember how many colors i said it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty to one another 25 colors um this one also has dmcs and it's a mix of the numbers and symbols And here is her color palette. Some more muted tones. <laughs> this is so unlike me, y'all, to, to buy all these diamond paintings with these muted tones. And, and it does have a inventory sheet. Because a little thing about me is I love fall colors. I don't love fall because I hate cold weather. But I love fall colors, so I'm kind of I kind of have a like a conundrum there. And another basic basic toolkit. I have like a stack of toolkits over here now. So this one, this one is super pretty. It's more like muted tones, but it's more springy kind of looking. that <laughs> the um the little tape was had got caught had got stuck to the uh this little outer plastic and it was like pulling it off so this one this one is a 30 by 30 as well and this is just some pretty like some birds with some flowers super pretty and i'll give you a close-up view of it not too bad um, and this one has 21 colors, um, DMC codes, and a mix of numbers and letters, symbols. Super pretty. Sometimes if you're, if you're somebody that diamond paints regularly and you do a lot of larger diamond paintings, sometimes these little, what I call snack size ones, sometimes these are really good to like as a palette cleanser. But if you're somebody like me who has diamond paint like in a small area, snack size ones are your best friend. So, uh, where is the, there it is. And this also came with the inventory sheet. But I'm gonna try to unwrap this real quick and show you the colors. This one also has like all the loose, the loose packs. So that's your, kind of your color palette there. With all the colors. These little individual packs like this are a pain when they're like that. They're a pain to get back in there. So that's why I'm trying not to loosen these up too much. So next up, we have one that's actually brightly colored, somewhat. <laughs> it has kind of a blackish background, which I am not a fan of, but you have to sometime. So this one is a, what is the size of this one? Does it tell? Oh, it's on the side. This one is a 30 by 40. And this one looks like it's trying to come from a nicer company. Um, because this does have the plastic, I think. This is a little weird. Because it has the plastic, but it's a thicker. Um, not like it's a little bit, not cheap feeling kind of plastic. But this one is super pretty with the irises. 
I know it's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Um, I'm hoping it comes out a little bit better once I put the diamonds on it. <laughs> uh, but it's a 30 by 40 or a 40, 40 by 30. So, really pretty. Um, this one does have the DMC numbers. Um, 22 colors and it's... Um, mostly a mix of letters and numbers, but there are like a couple of actual symbols, uh, like a question mark and a hashtag. Um, I'm really like, I'm like amazed, I'm sorry y'all, I'm like amazed by this plastic. It's like, and it's more exactly cut than they usually are. This looks like it might actually be a poor glue. Oh. Actually, it looks like it, looks like it might actually be a, a double-sided tape deal. Just the, the way the glue is. The way the, um, the sticky part of the canvas is. Um, a lot of times you can tell if it looks like a, it's not like water smooth, then it's um, double-sided tape. So, this looks like it might actually be a double-sided tape kind of deal. Um, the plastic is just, like, more exactly cut, and it's thick. Like, this, all in general, it just feels thick. So, but the canvas is a little nicer. It's a little thicker. Um, and then here we have colors. Can I give you an idea? long long line of colors they've got them all lined up a single file uh, which is probably why it looks like it's a little bit longer than usual but yeah there's the colors um and it does have a um it does have an inventory sheet as well with the picture i don't know if that's helping or not but i'm just really surprised y'all i'm really genuinely Truly surprised by this canvas. It's a conundrum. It really is. Like, it's a conundrum. Like, on one hand, you've got where it has the clear film over it, which is usually an indication that it's poured glue. But it's thick film, and it's just, it's not cut as roughly as they usually are. Um... And it's almost cut so exactly of how things are cut when you're use when they're using the double sided tape, and also the actual sticky part of it is a little bit, it's not as shiny, um, and it's like it looks like it's a little bit more textured. So that's I feel like it's a um, a double sided tape deal. So this one is a is a pretty good um, kit. This one actually has the boat, the wax, um, the pen. And the pen actually has what looks like a six placer on it. I'm never good with these numbers. I feel like that's a six placer or a seven placer. It, hold on. Could be a nine placer. I think it's a six placer. Yeah. So. Um, and this is what I talk about with the multi-placers. Um, you can line your diamonds up in your, in your tray and then, um, you know, with the wax in there, of course. And then you can pick up, um, six diamonds up at a time. Um, and it, it's supposed to help your diamond paintings go faster. But honestly, I have just found that, um, when I try to use the multi-placers, I spend just as much time fixing the rows and straightening them after I place them down as I would if I had just put them down one by one. So that's why I'm, I'm not a fan of multi-placers. So next up, we have another one that's kind of colorful. And this is a cute little tiger. And I think he's supposed to be walking through water or something. I don't know. Cute little tiger, though. I love cats of all kinds. <laughs> um, he's a 30 by 40, obviously. 
Um, and he has 23 colors. Um, all DMCs as well. And it looks like he has numbers and letters, but his are in alphabetical order. N numerical and alphabetical order. So, that's always helpful. And then, here is his color palette. A lot of darker colors in there, but there's some bright, like the oranges and um, bright, bright orange there. There's a bright, like, limey kind of green color. So, so yeah. That one's going to be fun. And I think this is going to be the last diamond painting. And it is a little petite one. This is the smallest one of all of them. This one is only 20 by 20. <laughs> so this one really is a snack size. <laughs> oh, and the, uh, the toolkit for that tiger. Um, that wax looks kind of dried up, actually. <laughs> so like I said, last time in painting, oh my god, this thing is so cute. I can't stand it. This thing is so cute. And again, it says 20 by 20, but I'm guessing that's for the entire canvas. Y'all are gonna... It's only 13 colors. Um, and it's all, um, letters. Isn't this cute? Look, it's, it's, it's teeny tiny, y'all. It's teeny tiny. I'm guessing that the act, the size of this actual picture is only like 15 by 15. So... It's, it's super cute. Just a couple of little pumpkins. This would have been perfect for like right before Thanksgiving. I probably could have done it within a few days. <laughs> so, super cute. Oh my gosh. And, um, another basic toolkit. Usually you're just going to get the basic toolkits with these type of things. With these types of diamond paintings. Um, not a lot of colors to speak of, so I can kind of give you both sides here. There's, there's just some kind of paler oranges and mustardy kind of colors. There's a white, I'm surprised. Well, it's not exactly a white white. It's probably an off-white kind of color. Because it's supposed to be 6671. Oh, wait a minute, that's, that's, that's the canvas never, never mind. Um, so yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't even. I can't even. I think that's probably, this is probably like the smallest diamond painting that I have. Like, ever. Because I usually kind of steer clear of this really small ones. Because I know the quality of how they turn out is usually terrible. So, but I thought this one was like, it's just some big pumpkins. There's n literally no fine detail in it. I thought it would probably be okay. Um, but this is actually a canvas. It's another instance where it looks like they've just taken um, a picture and under underlaid it to uh, a, a, a grid. So we'll see how it actually turns out once it's done. But super cute. This is ones like this. I'm not really too concerned about. Um, how good they look. So the last thing I have to show you. That's all the diamond paintings. Um, I do have a cross stitch kit I can show you. Um, which actually I just noticed is kind of similar. Um, in coloring and style. To one of the diamond paintings that I just showed you. But it's a cross stitch kit. It's a stamped cross stitch kit. And if you're not interested in cross stitch. I understand. I will see you guys later. Um, but, um, this is a stamped cross stitch kit, and I swear I thought I had gotten this in a 14 count, but apparently not. Um, apparently, um, apparently it only came in either 9 or 11 count, and count, uh, is an indication of how many squares per inch are on the fabric. So, like, you see the fabric, and where the holes are it kind of creates like a grid like squares um and if you count um within an inch there will be 11 holes or 11 11 squares so and you can have 
fabric all the way from that. I think they make a seven count. Um, from seven count all the way up to, I think, a 56 count or something like that. That's when you're getting into the high stuff. But um, 11 count is pretty beginner friendly. Um, and this is a, uh, a cross stitch kit. I need to start one of these uh, printed cross stitch kits that I keep getting. <laughs> so super cute. The little cat with the flowers. And they actually have this. Um, as I mentioned, they have it in 11 count and nine count. Um, but I got the highest count that they offer, which is an 11 count. If they'd had it in a 14 count, I would have rather have gotten it in a 14 count. Um, but 11 count was the biggest, uh, biggest count of fabric that they had. Um, so I got that one. And <laughs> the reason I say that this is similar to the other cat thing that I got I think it's pretty similar to this that little cat with the um I'm not gonna pull it out again but I'll but yeah <laughs> I think it's pretty similar to that other little cat picture that I pulled out for y'all but uh yeah so um they did to have this I, ju I just mentioned they have it in 11 count and 9 count fabric they also have it um in a picture that's like the cat is more of a kitten and these flowers are not bloomed yet they're little sprinkles of um little sprinkles of a, a flower um but they're not fully as bloomed as they are in this picture so but i liked the one that had the more the more fluffier cat and the more bloomed out flowers so so pick that one out. So yeah, um, if you're interested in the cross in the cross stitch thing, you can you're welcome to go over to my other channel, which is the part time stitcher. It's all separate words. Um, there is actually a whole community of channels out there that does cross stitch, just like with diamond painting. There's a whole community of channels that does diamond painting solely and specifically. So YouTube is a wealth. <laughs> a wealth of knowledge that you didn't even know you needed. So if you're interested in either in either of these crafts, um, go check it out. Um, I would love to have you over there on my other channel. If you maybe you're already a cross stitcher or you dabble in cross stitch, go check my other channel out. Um, I will try to link it down below. Um, down in the description box, I forgot to mention down in the description box right underneath. Um, toward the top there, right up underneath where I put my um, affiliate link and discount code. I will also put my Fishland and Farmland codes in case you're already on Timu. You just input those codes into the search bar on the website and they will automatically take you to the game and add me as a friend. Now, I get mixed, th mixed comments from people um, both about the game codes and about the the discount um, options that I give you. Your mileage may vary. It may or may not work for you. I'm not sure. If you're in the U.S., if it doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I do, I have heard that as far as the game codes, it only works for people within the U.S., but now I have heard some people say that they are in, um, like in the U.K. or in Canada or somewhere, they're in another country and the, the game codes work just fine for them. Again, your mileage may vary. Timu's just kind of, they're a little funny, you know. Um, not everything is consistent with them. So, again, that's, I, I keep saying it. Your mileage, with Timu, your mileage may vary. Everybody's experience with Timu seems to be different. So, um, that is all I have for you guys. And, um, I will be back real soon. I'm probably about to go ahead and film this little Carter's order that I got in yesterday. Um, I just ordered my daughter a few things. So, um, I will be back very soon. And, um, if you liked anything that you saw in this channel, on this, on this video, um, please be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. And, um, if you keep coming back to my channel for the Timu hauls or 
just to hear me talk. I don't know. People say I'm soothing to listen to. Um, but if you find yourself coming back over and over again, just go ahead and subscribe. It helps me out. Um, and the uh, interaction with the, the likes and even dislikes, the comments, all that helps my channel out. It helps me get out there to more people. Um, so uh, I will be back real soon, as I said. And until I see you again, be good, guys. Bye for now. Thank you.